This is the Louvre, and in it, one of the world's most famous paintings hangs on the wall. The Mona Lisa. Her enigmatic smile has captivated audiences for centuries, and the painting to this day is considered a priceless masterpiece. But in 1911, the painting disappeared without a trace in what would become one of the most audacious heists in history. In 1503, a young artist from Florence named Leonardo da Vinci embarked on a new artistic venture, a portrait of Lisa Carardini, a woman from a wealthy Florentine family who had recently become a mother. Leonardo was captivated by Lisa's beauty, and he poured his heart and soul into the painting. He spent years working on it, experimenting with various techniques to create something truly unique. One of his innovations was sfumato, a shading technique that gave the painting its smoky appearance. He also used a three-quarter view to create the illusion that the woman was turning her head towards the viewer, a technique that was unusual at the time. But after completing the painting, Leonardo didn't hand it over to Lisa's husband, who had commissioned the work. Instead, he held on to it for many years, taking it with him when he moved to France. There, it caught the eye of King Francis I, famous for his patronage of the Renaissance, and now new owner of the Mona Lisa. On Monday, August 21, 1911, the Louvre was closed for maintenance, but little did the staff know that a brazen theft was about to take place. Vincent Perugia, an Italian handyman, along with his accomplices, the Lancelotti brothers, had snuck into the museum and hidden overnight in a storage room. Disguised in white workmen's smocks, they made their way to the Salon Carré and seized the small painting from the wall. They tore off its glass shadow box and frame and concealed it under Perugia's clothes. Then, slipping out of the gallery and down a back stairwell, they escaped into the streets of Paris. It would be a full 26 hours before someone noticed that the painting was missing. Artist Louis Baroud arrived to sketch his Mona Lisa au Louvre and found four empty hooks in its place. Guards initially assumed the portrait had been temporarily removed for inventory purposes, but by late morning, museum officials began to panic. Investigators scoured the building, but all they found was the painting's Italian carved frame in a stairwell and a broken doorknob in a nearby garden. The Mona Lisa had vanished without a trace. The French press had a field day, and the image of the Mona Lisa was splashed across the world. Sixty detectives seek stolen Mona Lisa, French public indignant, they declared. The theft of the Mona Lisa was a turning point. For the first time, there were queues outside the Louvre, just to see the empty space where the painting had hung. The theft launched the painting into a household name for people who had never been to Europe and had no interest in art. The French police scrambled to find evidence and interrogated Pablo Picasso, who had previously used several Iberian stone statuettes stolen from the Louvre as a model for his 1907 painting, Demoiselles d'Avignon. Meanwhile, the director of National Museums, Jean Théophile Homolé, who was on vacation when the Mona Lisa vanished, scoffed at the notion that the painting could have been stolen and suggested it must have been misplaced. He was then fired. Museum officials suggested that the painting might be too hot to handle on the open market, and so it remained in a false bottom trunk for two years, until November 29, 1913, when a dealer named Alfredo Gary received a letter from Paris. It said, the stolen work of Leonardo da Vinci is in my possession. The letter was signed Leonardo. After contacting Giovanni Poggi, director of Florence's Uffizi Gallery, for assistance, Jerry arranged a meet-up with the mustachioed man, who identified himself as Leonardo. The man demanded $100,000 and offered to show the painting in his room at the Tripoli Italia Hotel. The thief, Vincent Perugia, was later arrested at the hotel. 
The world was electrified when the Mona Lisa was recovered in 1913, two years after it had been stolen from the Louvre in Paris. The public went wild with excitement, and the painting was displayed at the Uffizi Gallery and throughout Italy before it was returned to France on December 30th of that year. In the first two days after it was rehung in the Salon Carré, more than 100,000 people flocked to see it. The painting had become an even bigger sensation than it had been before the theft. Vincent Perugia eventually received a one-year sentence for his crime, but it was later reduced to just seven months. He returned home to Italy, and in the wake of his trial, the world was plunged into the chaos and carnage of World War I. The drama of the art heist was suddenly overshadowed by the larger geopolitical events that were unfolding across Europe. But the heist of the Mona Lisa remains one of the most famous art thefts in history, one that forever changed the painting's status and significance. The Mona Lisa was already regarded as a masterpiece, but the theft and the subsequent global media attention that it received made it into a cultural icon, a symbol of the enduring power and fascination of art. Today, more than a century later, over 8 million people come to see the painting every year, and it remains one of the most important works of art in all of history. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to uncover more fascinating stories about art.